All right, yeah, weekend yeah. warriors. I'm excited to see you wear a Peach Bowl sweatshirt one day. Let's start with Derrick Henry. 21 carries, 102 yards, two touchdowns. Jay also caught a pass for 18 yards. Because you know there are people out there that do wear the Peach Bowl sweatshirt. How's his voice going, Matthew? Yeah. <laughs> Not great. <coughs> uh, look, Derrick Henry, he was great while he was <coughs> out there. And then he gets knocked out with the concussion. Got absolutely rocked yes. on a hit, Derrick Henry. So it's he's in concussion do. protocol. <coughs> uh, so we'll see if he is right. They've got an extra day for the Monday night game against Miami. What but if- it was just good to see him back looking like Derrick Henry, admittedly against an Indianapolis team that is just terrible against the run at the moment. I don't think there's really that many surprising names on this list. Like, you didn't expect A-Chan to be that high, you know. We thought, obviously, you're going to have McCaffrey there. We thought Kyron Williams would get a lot of run. Chuba Hubbard's a bit surprising. Yeah, that one. That's the one. one. I was. That's where I was going. The one surprise to me that's out there is Chuba Hubbard, running back five. Again, that stupid game where I lo- like, again, where Christian Watt, the, the, the team that's like the crappiest, like, that and got 37 from DK Metcalf. Also has stupid Chuba Hubbard. Like it's un- like every crappy guy all year long, they all go off against me. It's <laughs> it's outrageous. It's 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 not fair. I'm a bitter berry. I'm very upset. One of these days, mark my words. One of these days, something is going to go right for me in fantasy football. Yeah, something football. will go yeah. right. Yeah. One of these finally days, get your break. One of these days, I'm going to get yeah. a break in fantasy football. Yeah. You'll see. Right we'll above see. Chuba Hubbard was James Conner, 25 carries, 105 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah. I mean, him and Trey McBride, just a monster day for Arizona. I did not see this coming at all. James Conner was on my hate list. I talked about the fact that, listen, he's going to get a lot of work. You're still, you still probably got to start him as well. I think I gave him just two beers on uh, beer goggles on Sunday morning. I said, we uh, on keep it open, close it out last week. I said, keep it open on James Conner, but I'm lowering expectations. Well, that was wrong. I, he looked great, honestly. This was a weird one for me, but 25 touches, four goal to go carries. He had four total in the previous three games. All the concerns that we had in terms of volume and especially in close weren't there. They ran the ball effectively on the road at Pittsburgh. Great day at the office for the Cardinals offense overall. Yeah, it was fantastic. And the Steelers, the Steelers are just good for one of these games once a month, basically, where they just completely roll over. Just a day from hell for them with Kenny Pickett going down. TJ Watt gets hurt as well. Uh, we'll see what his status is before Thursday night. Yeah, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown in this game, by the way, came in limited. He gets zero fantasy points. He's out there maybe just move as a d- decoy, but they're running the ball effectively. Maybe it worked out. Arizona's on a bye this week, so hopefully Hollywood gets healthy. We figured out. So there's not much to talk about with James Conner other than really good day at the office for him. And how about Trey McBride, who, if it wasn't for Sam Laporta, would be the number one tight end in fantasy as we enter Monday Night Football. He's now had seven receptions in every game but one since Kyler Murray returned. He's tight end four on a points-per-game basis since he became the starter in week eight. And you can see why they were like, hey, Zach Ertz, go yeah. catch on with yeah. a contender. Knock yourself out. We're going to see what we have with our year two player, Trey McBride. Great for him. I mean, weekend warrior, but career warrior, Mike Evans, Jay. This is 10 NFL seasons, all 1,000 yards in every single one this weekend. Seven catches, 162 yards, and a touchdown. Wide receiver seven on the season. Baker Mayfield seems to have a real connection with him. And now they go on the road to Atlanta. But A.J. Terrell got knocked out of the yeah, Jets game really all. early. And his replacements, there's not a lot on the outside for Atlanta. So it's going to be like Jeffrey Okuda. Clark uh, Phillips would be Clark the Phillips the third. Not he, he played familiar. well, but he's 5'9". Yeah, which yeah, so he can't play Mike Evans. Mike Evans. Okay, so I think Mike Evans might have a big day against the, the right. Atlanta Falcons. He's, he's been he's been unbelievable this entire year. He's been one of the best draft day bargains as well. Other side of that ball, we mentioned it briefly, Chuba Hubbard. I think the significant here, like the two touchdowns were crazy, but he's not got back-to-back games with 20 more fantasy points. To your point, this was a game that the Carolina Panthers actually looked good offensively. No, they didn't win, but they had a chance to win. And it was the first game without Frank Reich as the head coach. And the fact that Chuba Hubbard went back to being a bell cow running back, even though Sanders – is healthy and on the team sort of tells you again Deuce Staley no longer there so I think without Deuce and Frank Reich two former Philadelphia guys that they've had a fondness for Miles Sanders Chuba Hubbard Chuba Hubbard is a top 20 running back I believe the rest of the way they're at the Saints this week uh, and then they've got the Falcons Packers and Jags the next four so Nice game for Chuba. Yeah. It's a disappointing November for Puka Nakua, but he starts off December right, Jay. Four catches over 100 yards and a touchdown. He also had 34 rushing yards in this game. I think the story was that he got injured, and it looks like he was done for the season. Like, the way he's he walking to the locker his, room. His shoulder, I mean, just yeah. the way he's walking, he's like, oh, he's fractured his shoulder. He's done. We won't see him again until 2024. And then he just comes out, and he's breaking 30-yard runs yeah. there on the outside. So, look, the talent has always been there. It's He it didn't have an amazing amount of targets. His cup is there, and cup looked a bit more explosive and better, but he did have that 70-yard touchdown. So that yeah, he had numbers. some big 
plays, and they were taking more shots to him downfield, which was which was sort of interesting as well. They play Baltimore next week, which is tough, but he's had at least seven targets in every game since Cooper Cup returned. So again, you're getting seven targets from Matthew Stafford in an above average offense. That's a good day at the office here uh, for Puka Nakua. Most fantasy points in a game since week four. So, yep. Nailed um, it. Yes. I we enjoyed playing against him as well a couple <laughs> weeks. Like, like, he's been bad for – I had a bad day at the office, like, yesterday. Your bets won. That's My bets won. Yeah. My bets won, and I got to spend time with you, too. That's you nice, know, so there you go. I like that. There you that's go. Nice. That's, that's nice. very nice. That's sweet. Right, I I surprising. Surprising comment. Yes. I liked it. Right. <laughs> it was uh, plus 800. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sunday <laughs> Scaries headlined – by Justin Herbert and Austin Eckler because, yes, the Chargers win 6 nothing, but <laughs> 6 yeah, six nothing in an NFL it's, game. It's a tennis score, yeah. Right. Ek Eckler, to me, is the big story. It's his third straight game with single good fantasy points. He's been under 70 total yards in four of the past five. He's averaging under five yards per carry, which is the lowest in his career. Like, they're home to Denver at Vegas. I – I think you probably still have to keep rolling him out there, but this is bad, guys. It just, I, I feel like he's playing through an injury. Yeah, he's, he's not, clearly he's not, not, not no, no, no. He's at least 50% of what he normally is. Yeah. Uh, Brees Hall, who also might be playing through a bit of an injury, was on the injury report, but there's just there's no space for him. There's no. nowhere to go in this offense because they're just stacking the box and daring Trevor Simeon and Tim Boyle. It doesn't matter who's there. It doesn't matter, yeah. Hip super, at or before the line of scrimmage every play. Super weird, though. I thought Dalvin Cook looked like a better running back yesterday. I oh, had the and, fumble. And then he had the fumble. I know, I understand. But, but it's true. Like but, it, it, that's been the story for Dalvin Cook. He did look better, and then he fumbles. Very yep. frustrating for all of the Jets on offense. Last one on the list, Zach Moss. Uh, he goes 19 for 51, two catches for six yards. Look, Tennessee have a tough run defense. I thought Zach Moss actually looked good. I, I thought agree. he was running well, uh, so I wouldn't read too much into this. Just a tough day against a tough run defense. Yeah, and Herbert still is, is still a QB1, but, I mean, he's a lower-end QB1 as well. I mean, just, they just don't have a lot of pieces on offense for the no, Chargers They need Josh well. Palmer. Yeah, I was he's, just going to say, they're he's, he's Josh similar, You know what? He's similar to Mahomes, which is like, you're most likely start him, but it's no longer a no brainer I don't care who else I have or who they're playing like now you sort of got to think about it a little bit with Herbert as well Tim Boyle gets replaced by Trevor Simeon I think that was good for the Jets yeah for uh, three plays yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it matters hey it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and Rotorworld.com and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched or if nothing else being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished but now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.